For this flu season so far, get this, at least 8.7 million Americans have gotten sick. 78,000 hospitalized and 4,500 have died from the flu, including 14 children. Our Michael Burton listened in on that CDC call and joins us now with more details. Not good at all, Michael. Lorenzo, that's that warning coming just a few hours ago from top CDC officials, one even calling it a perfect storm for a terrible holiday season. That's because cases of COVID-19, RSV and the flu are on the rise. According to the CDC, nearly 20,000 people were hospitalized with the flu during Thanksgiving week. That's up 72% from the week before. As for COVID-19, CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky says hospitalizations are up at least 15% from last week. We're seeing those high numbers directly impact hospitals in the D.C. metro area. The Department of Health and Human Services reports almost 85% of Maryland hospital beds are currently in use. D.C. is at 81% with Virginia at 73. Tonight, a spokesperson for the Virginia Hospital and Healthcare Association says the number of available beds in the Commonwealth is down about 22% from where it was just 10 days ago. So it's important to remember that of the three respiratory illnesses discussed, two have vaccines, COVID-19 and the flu. Today's call was yet another push to get more people vaccinated. Leslie, let's hope they listen. Thank you so much, Michael.